What's up, you two? Welcome to Renegade. As you can see, I am reviewing the 2024 lineup for the side by sides, especially this Maverick R, because this has been getting a lot of word, a lot of controversy, a lot of heads turning um, due to the design of the machine. People saying it's mixed with a side by side and some segue, some little stuff. People have been talking crap about this thing, but I think this machine is gorgeous. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the design and the machine. And is it worth the amount of money they want for this machine? Because mind you, they did put a lot of time, money into this thing to, you know, have the capabilities, um, you know, for the consumer so they can be satisfied and yes but out of these three models which one would y'all choose i probably would choose the mavic rx rx of course um y'all let me know which one y'all would choose i know these things seem too expensive like you could buy like a, a car or probably a house nowadays well not even a house but you know what i'm trying to say um this thing is 240 horsepower you got thousand cc's um, they got a piggyback uh, suspension, as you can see. Um, like I said, this have been getting a lot of word. People have been wondering would they be able to put bigger tires on, especially for rock climbing and stuff. But this particular, I guess, setup is really for racing uh, for, you know, the South um, West people, especially if you're in the desert and stuff. Uh, this thing do got three drive modes. Uh, they also put this thing through a extensive testing, putting 325,000 miles like 325,000 miles on this thing to test its capability. And so also have the dual clutch transmission. You got that speed, uh, lightning shifts compared to the CVT, uh, which is belt driven. So it's gonna be uh, more, uh, you know, faster. I'd say efficient in a way, but it's gonna be pretty damn quick and uh, it's gonna be fun. You don't have to worry about changing no belts or anything, or you don't have to worry about a belt getting burned up because you know, if you put, you know, with the can stuff, you're going to have to make sure the thing is in gear because if not, you're just going to burn your belt up. But, you know, with this, it should be fine. Uh, I heard it's a seven speed. Uh, this is also going to be, um, uh, it's gonna, also going to have the six lug uh, nut uh, wheels, which is crazy. So you're going to have bigger brakes and uh, everything. They also have cameras on this thing, uh, front and rear, which is uh, kind of crazy to me. And it's this thing looking awesome. Y'all let me know y'all pin down. I'm just touching, you know, the bases, the surfaces. And I was trying to see why so much people hating on, you know, the redesign of, you know, new machines and stuff. Because at first people ain't like the older, you know, Can-Ams or the 2023 ones or how they look. And I see it's growing on folks now. But this one might grow. Uh, but like I said, they do. I do uh, feel their concerns about putting bigger tires, and I am concerned about the suspension. Cause what if a rock or something hit it and it bending up real bad? Like, is the thing uh, strong enough to withstand, like you know, the rock terrain and all that? Which, like I said, they put through extensive tests, so it should be able to. But I know there's parts where will be uh, very expensive on it, and also with the rear suspension, I think they have a torsion bar, if I ain't mistaken. But anyway, y'all let me know. What y'all think about this machine? Um, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. And uh, tell me, give me more uh, input. I just wanted to touch on the surface about this machine. And also, if y'all have recently seen uh, the spreadsheet, the comparison between the Pro R, uh, the Can-Am is more favorable, uh, especially with the engine, the transmission, and other uh, key uh, components to make this uh, machine uh, more capable and more um i would say favorable and more competitive uh in a way um i wonder if these machines uh can compete in races um that's my concern they should be able to and it's y'all let me know like this thing look bad spanking hey yes um everything is just crazy about this machine uh, especially for a side by side uh, it looks unique it's very different it's got people talking um and that's just pretty much it see y'all next video